Hey there, it's Devin from CrunchGear.com, and uh, I've got Microsoft's X6 Sidewinder gaming oriented keyboard right here. And uh, I thought I'd give you a little tour of the thing, check out some of its features, and uh, see if it's worth your money. The thing's been out for a little while now, along with their other new Sidewinder stuff, the X5 gaming mouse um, and the X8 gaming mouse, which has not yet been reviewed, which are these gigantic mice. Uh, but the X5, X6 rather, is their only gaming keyboard right now. Of course, they've got a ton of different keyboards, but this is the only one that's got all this crazy backlighting and macro stuff and this awesome detachable piece which comes right off and can go on either side of the keyboard. So let's take a closer look and uh, see what this thing has to offer. Okay, I changed my mind. The lighting's really bad down there, so I'm just gonna hold it up. So um, unfortunately you can't tell because it's uh, pretty light, but it's got a really nice uh, sort of orangey, dark red, dark orangey red uh, backlighting here. Over here you've got a more amber backlighting, which is good. It lets you know where these keys are at a glance without really looking too hard. And also, these keys are separated from the rest of the keys, which is good. Uh, Microsoft has had some trouble with key placement before, and uh, like not separating the F keys, which they've also done here, uh, which is to say they have separated them. Um, but this, this keyboard is laid out a lot better than their wireless keyboards and some of their more natural curvy keyboards. So I found this not difficult to use right off the bat. It's got two big knobs here. Uh, one of them is for brightness control of the backlighting, which is, uh, it's handy, but did it really need that big of a dial? So, dial it down, no backlighting, dial it up, backlighting. Uh, the, you can see that the keys are white, but it's actually, it actually lets the, uh, the backlighting come through, so at night they'll be kind of lit up in red or amber. It looks really nice, and the backlighting is way better than uh, the Razer Lycosa keyboard that I have with the blue backlighting. It's uh, harder to see at night, so this is, uh, this is a better backlighting solution, and uh, much more clear if you're looking for you know, trying to find the carrot or the ampersand or whatever in the middle of the night. So what else we got here? So the other knob is for volume, obviously. Uh, and you've got your media keys here, uh, your mute key, forward and back, and play. And the volume is really easy to do. And it goes up, I think it just spins forever. I think it just spins forever so you could break your speakers, or at least put it up to maximum really easily. So that's it for the sort of regular keyboard features, the media keys and all that stuff. But obviously this thing is meant to be a gaming keyboard, so it's got a lot of other features. Uh, the most prominent one, of course, and the one that they've put up a lot is this, uh, well, like a boombox here, yeah. Uh, so you've got your dedicated calculator button, which doesn't sound like a gaming thing, but then you must not be a World of Warcraft nerd calculating out damage per second and stuff. Not that I am, but uh, I find that a calculator key is very, very handy, and you can open up tons of them at the same time. Not that you really need to, but like, I've just opened up seven. Just like that. That's the power of uh, Microsoft gaming keyboards. So you've got uh, this thing also detaches right off. And it attaches whoo, really easily to the other side. Oh, that's a good song too. It attaches really easily. It's got little magnets in there. And uh, it looks, it's sort of like a modified USB little thing in there, but it's much looser. Connects really easily. I never had any trouble with it not recognizing itself or not lighting up after like a second. Uh, the number pad also doubles as a whole bank of macro keys. In fact, there's a ton of macro keys on here. These ones here are all macro keys and there's a switch below to switch between macro keys 1 through 6 and macro keys 7 through 12, which are the same keys. So in addition to the macros, which I don't really have a use for 20 different macro keys, but you might. Uh, there are a couple of special buttons here. This is a mode switching button, which if I had the software installed right now, uh, which I don't, when you press this it would switch between your primary profile, just for, you know, go on the internet and stuff, and between two different game profiles, so you could assign, you know, even more macros to the keys, or, I don't know, set up all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, this button here is for recording macros on the fly, which is a pretty cool thing. If you're in a game, you don't know what you're doing exactly, you know that you need to go this way, that way, you need to put in a combo and then enter some text, I don't know what. This lets you record it on the fly, so you hit this, boom, and then it goes to, I can't remember which, uh, it goes to whatever uh, combo key you want it to go to, which is a pretty handy thing if you're into those uh, macro things. And this is cruise control. This is really handy for a game like World of Warcraft, 
uh, or maybe, God, I don't know, something where you have to run a lot, uh, because you hold this down, and when you press a key, you hit that, and then it'll keep holding that key, essentially, until you tell it to stop, so you can run all the way across, uh, I don't know, Hyrule or whatever world you're running across without having to press the key more than once. There's one more button, this little thing, I believe it's a Sidewinder button. I don't really know what it does, and it's not labeled on the thing. Well, I'm sure you'll find out. You know what I love? When your video camera runs out of batteries right in the middle of a video review, and then you keep trying and it won't turn on. So to conclude on the X6 Sidewinder keyboard, I think it's a pretty solid keyboard. MSRP is like $80, I think, but you can get it a lot cheaper, like 50, 60 bucks. Uh, and for that price, I think it's a pretty solid buy. The detachable keyboard thing is actually really nice if you want to reconfigure your desk. Like, I like to have my mouse pad a little closer to the right side of my keyboard, so I just attach this thing to the left side of my keyboard. It's, it takes a little bit of a reconfiguring of your brain to get it going right, but if you're into that, and uh, I mean, if, if you can do that and you're into um, having macros and stuff, this is really a pretty solid keyboard to have. So that's the Microsoft Sidewinder X6 keyboard. Um, we'll keep an eye out for any future Sidewinder gear that's coming out, but uh, I think this is the only keyboard they've got coming down the pipe at the moment. They've got a new mouse coming out pretty soon, the X8, I believe, and we'll be sure to get that to you as soon as possible. Until then.